Hello everyone, this is Wesker Tribe. Um, today I'm playing Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, sorry I've not been on for those who are subscribed to me. I've been quite ill and had earache. Been really bad. Sorry about that, you can maybe hear my fan. Yeah, I want to give some tips and tricks on Elder Scrolls Online today. Uh, I tried to make a video just a few minutes ago earlier. That was way too long, almost an hour it rolled onto. There was that many things I talked about. I'm going to try and make it a bit shorter or I'm going to make it into a two-part thing. So I'm quickly going to delete this character. That was the one I originally was going to do. But something happened. Put it that way. Yeah, I like the look of that tribal character. It's not because I just like to look at girls naked. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got quite a lot of characters as you can see. But yeah, I'm going to start making a new character. Make him a male. Now, these are the two, uh, three different class, like different areas. So the area you will pick, like the dragon area, you will be in a different area. The bird area, you will be in a different battleground as well, uh, after the demo. The uh, tiger area, you will be in a different area. Now, you want to make sure you pick the same area as your friend when you play this, because if you don't, you won't be able to play with them unless they pick that cl the same area as you. So you want to make sure you get that sorted with your friend when playing it. Now, you've got all sorts of characters, um, kind of classes. Each one will have the super perk hidden inside of them, basically. Like that one's armor and spell resistance. That one's shield and stamina recovery. Good for shield and swordman. An orc has strength, health recovery, and also when wearing every heavy armor set has extra XP. I've got on my one. And the dark health, who's a magic and fire resistance type of guy. Health regen, fast recovery. You know, onwards, onwards. I'll show it by bit if you do want to pause it. I don't want to make this as long as I did last time. My computer did not like it. <laughs> um, the, then you got the Imperial, who's a downloadable character. I'm going to play as him for now. Then you got four classes. A Dragonborn class is a defense build. Mostly, you know, it's a real, real kind of big defense build. It's not my favorite class. I'd say that's my fourth class favorite. My third would be, um, I'd say... My healing. My healing class will be third. My second, that's like all healing buffs. You heal your team, all sorts. Really good. My second is summoning. The summoning's really good to say if you play on your own and you don't have your friends on that day and you just want to play and you think to yourself, oh, uh, no, I may be in, uh, too experienced enough. This character's brilliant because, um, you know, you'll have... AI you can summon to help you distract the enemy so you can overcome them, you know, a lot easier. And the thief is my first. The reason why the thief is because it's such a good character. Really fun. Really, really fun. But anyway, let's quickly do the facial. I really don't care about the facial features too much myself right now anyway. And you can see what the ultimate armor is going to look like. As you can see. You can also make them naked so you can put tattoos on them, all sorts of things, beard. So let's quickly type a name in. No numbers. I hate when it does stuff like that. Anyway, let's take that out. Anyway, you won't be seen as that name with other people. You'll be seen as your game attack name. I thought I'd tell you that. Now I am going to be skipping the talk scenes because I don't want to create spoilers, obviously. Don't want to create any spoilers. Hopefully it will open the load. I tell you, the first day I played this on my PC, it took ages to load for that screen. Ages. And if someone could let me know what that error means, I'd, I'd love to know, because I get that all the time, and I've connected everything up properly, you know what I mean? Um, now, down on D-pad, change his vision, so you can have it in that person mode, or you can have it in this viewer mode. But... This is something I'm going to show you um, because obviously I brought the collector's edition myself. So I got the horse and all that sort of gadgets and stuff. Now I think you can buy the same Imperial edition as me. It maybe costs 2500 1500 about reasonable price around about that. 
I will eventually find out about that. And this shows you what it comes with. It comes with a horse, Imperial Race, um, all sorts, and a little crab friend. Now, there is a lot of other different stuff you can buy on here with real money, this is. You get given 500 at first, so, you know, if you buy, say, if you buy a £5 voucher or a $10 voucher one, you'll be able to either buy anything you want on this store, really, anything. Except for, like, the 1,900 stuff, that's just way too crazy. I definitely wouldn't buy the 2,500 horse myself, but, you know, you guys might. Now, if you do buy this stuff, where to get it from is this store. As you can see, it's telling me what I brought with my edition, the Imperial Race, that stuff. The costumes, I haven't got none. Pets, i got two. Mounts, you can even name your mount. So, it's to say if you want to use your mount, you press X on it. It will tell you, but you got to hold the touchpad. Obviously, you can't summon in here. Or I think it's hold select on um, Xbox One. Yeah, but there's so many, um, like there's so many special things in this game. Like there's two special things you can get. Like you can be a vampire, which has its own unique skill tree. A werewolf, which has its own unique skill tree. I would not be able to show you that because I have not got a character that build yet. I'm sorry about that. But I've seen some of the stats and uh, they both look really good. But they're, they're hard to get as well. They're very hard to get. Yeah, I'm going to show you quickly how to do this part. So to say, I know you're thinking maybe at the beginning, oh, I don't want to use a two-handed sword. Um, say, for instance, if you didn't want to get any points for that, you can always take it off and your bar won't go up. Because the more you use it, the more you level up the actual special meter as well. You can beat these guys with your fist. This part anyway, one punch easy. Even block them with your fist. It's quite funny. Change the third person mode. I think it's first, first person mode. Always get them too confused. Oh yeah. Got that one. And that's that done. But yeah, there's a lot, as you can see, that's just leveled up. Um, which doesn't bother me too much because I think I think this is going to be something really helpful. Is you got your powers, which are awesome. Then you've got perks for each weapon. Perks which will permanently stay on your character, permanently and obviously not every character won't go to every character unless you put perks on them yourself. But these perks will stay on your character always. Um, you know, he, you don't have to put him in any slots, like the powers. There's so, so many perks to pick from. So many. And the thing is, not only are there so many perks to pick from, you can evolve, like, you can evolve the perks as well and powers. Well, you can't evolve the perks, sorry about that. You can't evolve the perks, like, evolve them, like, level them up even higher to do something completely different. But the perks, you will get more more of them at a higher level. Like that's uh, 8, 14, 22, and 39. But obviously you can get it higher than that because it's 1 out of 2 you're going to get. And then 2 out of 2 you need for it to be 100% work, you know, doing a good thing. But yeah, the perks are really good. And these are the powers. So this is like the assassin tree. So that's like an assassin blade which you pull out and kind of pull your enemies towards you. Uh, I don't really like this skill tree myself. Uh, there's one attack I like in here where you like teleport. You're a bit like Nightcrawler. You teleport to, to your enemy and like stab them and they fall over. This is my favourite path. I'm going to show you quickly these two. This is why my favourite path. Because you got cloak yourself in the shadows, come invisible which is amazing. You can do that even when fighting the enemy and you cause extra damage even when invisible. It, I find for me it feels. Now this power combined with Shadow Cloak is really good. Not just the damage, but it actually has a 4% uh, chance of... Uh, wow, it doesn't have a 4% chance. 100% chance the first time for knocking the enemy off balance uh, for 4 seconds. 
which is incredibly good, incredibly, because you can just wail on them, all your friends, you know, all of you can wail on them. And this skill tree, that's a health steal, so you can gain health from the enemies, trap your enemies, but when you hit them, they will become un, um, untrapped. So, quickly speak to her. Yeah, I know I'm going about this quite fast, but there's still so much for me to show you. So I'm going a bit too fast. You know, if there's any questions, ask me in the comments. I'll, I'll gladly answer them the best way I can. Quickly kill this guy, which should level you up. Always does. Well played, friend. Oh yeah, and this, I almost forgot about this. Now this is like um, a buff up so you can buff your health up even higher now. Or you could buff up your stamina even higher or your magic. But I will say, not only is this a buff up, each time you level up, that will level up too. So say that's 1,300, next time be 1,400. Or I can make it, when I get another point, make it 1,500. And that'll be 1,200 between 1,300. You, you get the point. Um, and Shadow Perk. This is what you need. This power. I really love this power. As soon as you get your right weapons. And you're ready to go. You're going to have hours and hours of fun. I, I haven't even told you how many hours I've put into this game. About, ooh, about 90 to 72 so far. I've put so many hours into this game. So many hours. Okay, let's quickly head off. Yeah, as you can see, there's other people fighting around with different weapons. Not going to be too long here because um, I want to try and speed things up, show you where you can get like good weapons, you know, show you mix and match of things. Yeah, this is your inventory. You can choose like what you want to equip and what you don't want to equip. Can even take off your clothes, obviously. So if you think that T-shirt looks crap, take it off. Um, now the options are something I definitely want to show you. In the options. Now when looking at the options, you you know when you get a helmet in this game, say if you don't want to see that helmet on your character's head, put it on on, and you won't see that helmet on your character's head even when equipped. It it will still be equipped, and you'll still get all the defense, but obviously you won't be able to see it in that way. Which would make your character look a bit cooler, I think. I always find it makes my character look cool. As you can see, the attack is pretty basic. R2, block is L, L, L2. Okay, quickly go where we gotta go. And you can find rare stuff in the barrels, like rare items, rare materials. So much stuff you can find. Um, so much good weapons um, you can find like green green weapons which are rare and the blue weapons are really rare that's how uh, that's how many I've found so I've, I've found quite a couple of rare items the horses are incredibly expensive in this game if I haven't already said if I'm repeating myself again sorry um, the horses are incredibly expensive so you do want to kind of buy that bundle um, not obviously the collector's edition, but obviously put a little bit of money on there so you can either buy a horse. Because you get 500 coins at first. So to say if you put £5 on there, that would be a definitely enough to buy a horse or $10. That'd definitely be enough. Definitely. So let's continue where we got to go. Ah, as you just saw, I'm quite trigger fingered sometimes. As you just saw, this is a green item. That means it's rare. And it's on my belly. Shows on your character's stomach. A one handed sword. So now this means I can dual wield them both. So now that's my dual wield character already. <clears throat> Which you do double the damage. This is why I love this character because your damage is crazy crazy good crazy I'm not even kidding about that I've done really good runs with my um, character 
Yeah, and playing it co-op, all the stuff that you see on the floor is your items, not other people, so good thing to remember sometimes. Yeah, so you'll be able to pick it up. Obviously, if you open a secret chest, uh, whoever picks the lock gets the item, but do be careful, because I think strangers can run up and rob your stuff. Oh, sugar, I forgot to talk to the girl. Ah, oh, this is time wasting. I know I may be doing faster than that, um, I'm saying, but the last one, literally, I did almost go on for an hour. I do not want that happening again. There's there's also special events that go on in the area, which you fight a load of enemies that come down from the sky. Now, when you kill them all, you get some rare weapons. There's two types of special events. There's one with loads of people, and then there's one with just you and a couple of friends, which I prefer them ones, the ones with just you and a couple of friends, because I've found I've got more rarer equipment that way. That guy's already got a rare shield by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, there's rare, rare stuff you can do, like special events that come from the sky. You see it glowing purple. Yeah, there's so many special things. I think there's even, like, special... Ooh. Yeah, as you feel the vibration, like that, that's when you know you've picked it. Yeah, there's so, so much stuff to do in this game. There's endless hours of fun. Definitely 100% worth picking up. 100%. Now, there's so many weapons around here. An iron sword. On my last video, that was green. Before it um, crashed. For some reason, my computer really didn't want to upload it. As you can see, the power bar is increasing. So that will increase. There's normally a bow there sometimes, but I don't know why it's not there. There's always a staff there. Now you gotta be careful in this game. You, uh, you know, most games you just think, oh, the staff's a staff, you know. They're all the same. But there's two different types of staffs in this. There's normally a shield there as well. There's two different types of staffs in this game you have to be careful of. Because you got your uh, healing staff. Then you got your damage staff. So you want to be careful, you know, you don't pick the wrong staff. I'll try and show you what I mean by um, being invisible while fighting an enemy, and then you can just go straight invisible again. But the thing is, when there's so many people around, it's really hard to do that sometimes, show things like that. And there's a bow always there. Now I'll show you here. So I hit him, go invisible, he doesn't even know where I am. Boom! Hit him double damage. See, that's why I love this character. As a shield here as well, and the one-handed weapon. So if you are going for that class, that's a good way of getting it. There's a few staffs up ahead. But I'm going to quickly show you how the staffs work. I'll quickly show you. That's like your healing staff there. I've not actually found it. Oh yeah, it must be at the top. That's your healing staff which has completely different stuff. Even though I don't think it actually heals you when you shooting at an enemy, unless you upgrade a special perk. I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm actually got a character on that, but I am not 100% sure about that, and I've put a lot of hours into her. Now, these types of stuff, the element staffs, I absolutely love these staffs. I absolutely love them. I really, I really love the fireball staffs you you'll see why straight away the damage is ridiculous the ridiculous as soon as you get that leveled up and you get a power to ignore enemies um, defense of magic it becomes fun enemies start to fear you as a mage same thing with a fighter as well it's not just mages I'm, I'm leveling up same thing with the archer as well archers are incredibly fun they're all pretty fun classes. I'm trying to make a really good archer. You know, like really, really good archer. Look at the damage on this. Booyah, he's dead. One hold. One like hold. Each time you think if you're playing with a friend, 
that one hold, the fr your friends are wailing on them, you're shooting them with the hold attacks, or you can spam it fast, fireballs fast. You can even block with it, so if someone tries to hit you, always remember you can block with it. You can even thrust with it, which is R2 and R2, which knocks an enemy off what they're doing. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to stop it here, guys. I hope um, you've liked what you've seen, uh, some of the tips I give you. You know, there's a lot. There's permanent perks that will always be on. Then there's special abilities you can level up even further and evolve. But obviously, um, that's that's all I need to show you at the moment. Weirdly enough, it just said my friend was on. <laughs> but yeah, um, thanks for watching and have a great day or great night. Bye, everyone.